Hey all, Matt Epworth here, and UA just released the new version of Luna, which has Apple Silicon support. And so I'm going to do a quick comparison versus the Rosetta version and see how it does, see what kind of improvement we get. So I'm just opening a session. This is just a demo track that I had been working on. Let this open up. And I'm just using an M1 Mini um, with 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, so I've got a session, pretty basic. Uh, some drums that were tracked live. Well, of course, everything was tracked live. Uh, some scratch tracks in here, but pretty basic stuff. And then I've got a little processing on each one, just so it has a little bit of polish to it, so it doesn't sound really, really dull. And so we can take a look down here at the bottom and we can see that we're getting about 53% CPU usage and about 60% memory. So something that, you know, for a demo, it's using probably as much as I'd ever want to use power-wise um, for just a demo track. And, uh, you know, this is just a few tracks. Yeah, there's some processing on every track. But again, just so it sounded a little less demo-like. Switch to the view. No edits or anything like that. Like I say, this is this is just live track drums and uh, live bass uh, guitars. Uh, one extra guitar take take, but it's not even a perfect take or anything. So, and then uh, a scratch vocal. Jump to the chorus. Sorry for the pitch, it's a demo. And then last chorus. So there we are, hanging out right about 53%, 60% memory usage. So that's basically it. Now let's uh, just confirm that we're working on the Rosetta version. Here's Luna. We can see that it's Intel. So just like we'd expect. And now let's update. So this is new to me. I've never experienced it. Check for updates. Doing this update and uh, we'll cross our fingers and hope that it's the same kind of improvement that we saw with UADX. Uh, where did Luna go? Okay, reopening. All right. Hello, come back. All right, so I'm going to open that same session up. Hmm, session seemed to open a little faster. Let's check it out. Whoa. Holy memory usage difference. What is going on? And we can see that it is now Apple. So this is definitely running native silicon. Drastic memory difference. So 53 to 45, eight times two by two. Chorus. And, 
and uh, so basically seven or eight times two gives us you know between 14 and 16 percent so we'll call it about a 15 percent increase here jump to the third Yeah, memory usage is a total mystery to me. I have no idea why the memory is so much less than it was before. Um, maybe something was held in memory before that I didn't notice. But uh, yeah, nice improvement. 15% roughly, so we'll call it 15. So nice work, UA. You took something that was between 50 and 55 when you made it less than 45 percent usage so a nice upgrade and uh you know just to re-clarify so all these everything in here is uadx with exception of oceanway which is only available on uad and so then there are just those smattering you know, three or four um, third party, which are waves in this case. And uh, that's it. Everything is native only processing except for Oceanway. And everything is M1 native. So another cool release, you know, another good benefit like what we got with UADX. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time. Pretty faders, pretty lights. Say hi, Spock.